is CBS 5 Early Edition. Welcome back to Weekend Early Edition. It's just about 8.30. Good morning. I'm Lisa Chan. The president of Poland and several of the country's top military officials are dead after a plane crash this morning. The accident in western Russia killed all 96 people on board. Charlie Dagada on what was in the air that may have contributed to the crash. The search for four missing miners in West Virginia is over. Search teams found their bodies inside the coal mine last night. They've been missing since an explosion on Monday. That brings the death toll at the upper Big Branch mine to 29. Rescuers had hoped that the four miners might have made it into an airtight chamber stocked with water and oxygen. The West Virginia's governor said none of several airtight chambers were deployed. The mine disaster is the deadliest in 25 years. The Pope is under fire for enabling a pedophile priest in Oakland to molest dozens of children. Children. In 1978, Father Stephen Keasley pleaded no contest to molesting two boys. But instead of going to jail, he was placed on probation and volunteered at a penal church. The bishop there asked the future Pope Benedict the 16th to defrock Keasley, but according to new documents, the Pope did not respond for four years. He says the lack of action allowed Keasley to molest dozens of children. They had moved him around from place to place, and everywhere he went, there was a problem. After four years, Pope Benedict finally agreed Keasley was of grave significance and removed him. Keasley is now 63 years old and lives in Walnut Creek as a registered sex offender. A Bay Area couple is involved in an unusual custody battle involving frozen embryos. A St. Louis couple entered into an agreement last year to adopt four embryos belonging to Edward and Carrie Lambert of Pleasanton. The first two embryos implanted turned into baby girls. Now there's a legal battle over what to do with the remaining to. The couple in Missouri says the embryo adoption contract stipulates the embryos were pre-born pre children and should be treated as children. Siblings should be kept together. To the best of my knowledge, every state in the United States fights for siblings that end up in the foster care system to keep them together, if possible. However, the contract also says any embryos not thought and implanted in the adopting mother within one year shall remain subject to the right of donor parents to revoke this agreement. One year was up in February. Until a judge rules, the embryos remain at a reproductive science center in San Ramon. Well, this morning, loved ones of a missing Fremont boy will hold a fundraiser in Oakland. Hassani Campbell was five years old when he was reported missing in August last year. The boy's foster parents were arrested but later released. Today, other family members and volunteers are holding a rum sale in Rockridge to raise money to continue the search. It runs from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the College Avenue Presbyterian Church. An impressive milestone for any crime lab, California's DNA data bank in Richmond has matched its 12,000th sample to a crime. The case involved a woman who was assaulted while jogging in Malibu. She escaped her attacker by sliding off a cliff and was later rescued by passersby. DNA collected from the victim led to an arrest. The data bank nearly 300 samples every month. San Francisco's troubled crime lab is now priority number one for a man who is new to the city's police department. Joe Vasquez talked to the SFPD outsider about the problems that fell in his lap.